Hey guys, Austin Swim here. I'm going to give you my three favorite bets for this weekend, Labor Day weekend, week one of college football. And there is a ton of great matchups on the slate here, but I got to dive in and start with a matchup. SEC taking on the AAC, that is college football playoff participant last year, Cincinnati traveling to Razorback Stadium, taking on Arkansas. And I like the Razorbacks here. They are six and a half point favorites at home, but I take the spread here. I don't think sports books or the public are factoring what a big loss Desmond Ritter is to the Cincinnati offense. You can see how well he's done in limited NFL action in the preseason so far already. And this defense is gutted of the NFL talent that made it so good last year. You think about Sauce Gardner, Kobe Bryant, Brian Cook, all those guys playing on Sunday this year. And I know Arkansas also lost Traylon Burks. So that is a big ding to their vertical passing game, but they still have a really mean power rushing game here. Heisman Dark Horse, KJ Jefferson and Raheem Sanders are a dynamic duo in that backfield. One of the better offensive lines in the country as well, where at least three of those guys should be playing on Sunday next year. And I think they just overwhelmed this gutted Bearcats defense. I think they pull away, win by a couple scores and win comfortably. I think you're paying the name value for Cincinnati. If you took them plus six and a half, I like Arkansas to win that one comfortable. Stay in the SEC. Another matchup I really like is the SEC participant Florida. They are hosting the Utah Utes and you look here, the number seven team in the country in the AP poll is Utah only laying two and a half points in the swamp. That should be your first clue with head coach Billy Napier in his first year at Florida. And the Utes last year were okay on the ground. They were 37th in FBS in yards per rush, but when you th factor in their competition, that's not overly impressive. And they are young up front this year, all sophomores across that defensive line. So they don't even have quite the talent they did last year. And I'm looking at Florida here and their dynamic offensive playmakers. That starts with another Heisman dark horse, dual threat Anthony Richardson out of the backfield for Florida. They also have three to four NFL offensive linemen. I think just like in, just like with Cincinnati, Florida's offensive line overpowers the Utah defensive line here. And I'm not as big of a fan of Cam Rising as what you maybe saw in that Rose Bowl. Ohio State had a lot of starters sit out of that game. Rising last year struggled a lot with inconsistent decision making and accuracy. Wasn't incredibly productive from a yardage standpoint. I don't know if the Utes will be able to get their run game rolling against this Florida mean front seven. I think Florida at home eats out a close win. I don't mind taking the two and a half points here at plus 100 odds on FanDuel Sportsbook because you just get plus 128 on the Gators money line. I'd rather take the couple of points of cushion in case this one is super, super close. The best bet of the weekend to me is Notre Dame in the shoe in Columbus taking on Ohio State, getting 17 and a half points here. There is a fundamental mismatch that'll help Notre Dame cover here. They have one of the best defenses in the country to help slow down C.J. Stroud, Jackson Smith, Najigba, and that crew, as well as the Ohio State defense. It was inconsistent last year, and Notre Dame has enough weapons. They have a good offensive line, Chris Tyree and, uh, and Gibbs coming out of the backfield. Definitely think Notre Dame can put up a few points here, and if their top five defense can hold Stroud, and Smith, Najigba, who will probably see plenty of double teams with no longer Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave there in Ohio State, as long as they can hold Stroud to under 35 points, I think Buckner and the Notre Dame offense can put up a few points here. Even though it's Columbus, that defense may be a top de top five defense in the country, top five ranked team in the country. I think it's just way too many points to give Notre Dame and I think the Irish cover handily.